Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's battle against the Minnesota Mawile and the Cincinnati Flying Tepigs. I'll be your host, like always, and I will guide you through this battle. This battle should be a good one. Um, I'll run you through the team for the Cincinnati Flying Tepigs. Today we are going to bring Bows and Hose, which is going to have leftovers. Uh, it's going to have Baton Pass. Uh, I'm trying to think what else he has on it. Hyper Voice, Wish, and Heal Bell. Uh, baton Pass is strictly for Wish Passing. And I got it okayed to have two Baton Passers because of that, because it's not passing any stats. So, the reason I'm, I'm bringing that up is because another member is going to be Ninjask, who's going to have Substitute Protect, uh, Sword Stance, and Baton Pass as well. He's going to be passing all kinds of stats. He's going to be passing the speed and the attack stat, hopefully to Gestra Doom, who is our, our hopeful for the for the sweep today. Yeah, like I said, I'm going for a rather interesting set on this Gestra Doom. He is not going to be running Scald at all. Um, he's going to be running Ice Beam, Earthquake, Stockpile, and Recover. And he's going to be having the Rocky Helmet on him as well. <clears throat> so the goal is to make him bulky, make him strong, and then just take on the rest of this team as we sweep through it. And if he tries to hit it, obviously it's going to do damage to him with the Rocky Helmet. Uh, then we have... Hold on. Once, once the team preview pops up, I'll, I'll run it through. I can't remember who all I brought off the top of my head. So right now we're sending the request out to Coach Hero. All right, here we go. Oh. I accidentally had voice chat on there, and I don't want that on. That was all my fault. So we're going to start that over. There we go. Alright, so we're going to send the request again. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm trying to remember the team off the top of my head. Can't fully remember. But the main goal of this is to have Gastrodream eventually come in and just sweep. Alright, so we've got um, Fortress, who is going to be setting up entry hazards and getting the hell out of there. And he also has the red card on there as well. So the red card is going to allow me to get rid of any stat boost that he tries to put up with this Charizard. Uh, okay, so he's... Oh, I also have Breloom and Tyranitar. I'll go over those as we get going. He's got Chansey, who's actually in the top 10 of the kills right now during the season. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, he's got Cobalion. He's got Mega Charizard X. He's got uh, Zumeral. He's got Scizor and Nidoqueen. So looking at it, the one thing I thought he was going to bring was Hydreigon. And he is not bringing Hydreigon, which... I don't know how that'll work out in our favor, but let's go ahead. What do I think he's going to lead off with? Um, let's see. I think our best shot right now is to lead off with... Let's lead off with the Looker. Uh, so we're just going to try to get up those entry hazards, because the sooner those entry hazards go up, the better off I'm going to be. Because <clears throat> if I have those Stealth Rocks up, his Charizard's not going to want to switch in and out very often. Alright, so we let off with Charizard right off the rip. 
Okay. Well, in that case, we are going to go ahead and just drop some stealth rocks. Let's see if he goes for an attack. So he's going to get his Mega Charizard X off. Now Stealth Rock isn't going to do as much. Before it would have done about half had he come in on it. Now it's going to probably do like a quarter of his health. He goes for a Fire Punch. I've got Sturdy, so it's not going to kill me. The red card's going to activate. Kicking that Charizard out. We're going to get the rocks up. And the Azumarill is going to come in. Alright, now we're going to find out whether or not this Azumarill is banded or if it is Belly Drum. So, let's see. We're just going to go for a Volt Switch. Yeah, let's go for Volt Switch. He went for Belly Drum. Okay. That's bad. So that means that thing's going to be extremely powerful. That's probably going to proxy Citrus Berry, yeah. He had his HP EVs a little mixed up there, which could have worked out really bad for him. I probably should have went for the Gyro Ball, and that might have KO'd it. Um, let's see here. So we are going to go ahead... <sighs> I don't know, this might... Oof. All right, Breloom should outspeed. The only thing is, I think an Aqua Jet will kill Breloom. We've got to take a chance. So we're going to take a chance, and we're going to go for Bullet Seed right here. If this Aqua Jet kills... doesn't kill. Woo! Awesome. Alright, so this will clean up Azumarill. And then he's probably going to go ahead and bring in the Mega Charizard X this turn. Alright, so we are now up 6-5. Uh, That's good. So not losing the um, Fortress helps, so that way I can still uh, rapid spin, anything that comes on my side, which I don't think he really has anything that will. <clears throat> Alright. He's probably going to defog this turn. And we are going to... Do you want Power Up Punch? Um, so I've got Power Up Punch, Mock Punch, Bullet Seed, and Rock Tomb on this one. Um, I'm not sure if I outspeed this or not. We'll... Let's see. I kind of want to keep Breloom alive, and I'm afraid if I stay in, he's going to go for an attack. Uh, let's see what I have that can come in on it. Uh, let's just let's just go ahead and go for the power-up punch. He went for the bullet punch. Okay. So he's going for the kill. Alright, Breloom's dead. Now, let's see, what do we want to bring in? Uh, Alright, so I don't know if he's banded or anything like that. <sighs> Alright, so it's all tied up 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Gastrodune now. And we're just going to start setting up sock piles. Like I said, originally I wanted to... I wanted to be able to pass some attack onto him. But I'm not going to be able to right now. We're going to go and stockpile. So we got one stockpile off. We're going to make this thing bulky. And like I said, it's got the Rocky Helmet. So if he goes for an attack... If he goes for an attack, he's going to hurt himself probably more than he will hurt me. Bug Bite, not going to do anything. Rocky Helmet's going to hurt him. Alright. 
So, let's see. Let's go ahead and we're going to stockpile one more time. Yeah. All right, he's going to drop a roost. That's fine. That doesn't bug me at all. So we've got our last stockpile off. This is one bulky gastrodoon right now. And we're going to recover this turn. He's probably going to U-turn, trying to get out of here. Was he has bug no, bug bite, bullet punch, uh, roost, and defog. He doesn't have it. All right, so he's probably going to go for a toxic or something here. Uh, let's just go for the earthquake. It's not going to do that much. Is the disappointing thing. Or, yeah, we're going to go for the Earthquake. He's going to go for the Toxic. Yeah, it's not doing anything. But he's still not going to want to stay in. We're going to Earthquake one more time. Let's see if he goes for an attack. Yeah, so he's going to get hurt here from the Rocky Helmet, which is nice. This shouldn't do anything, really. Earthquake goes off. It's going to take him below half. Now, he's probably just going to soft boil this time. I'm going to just recover. And then next turn, we're going to get out of here. So there's a soft boiled. And now, this is the point now where we've got to switch in and get that Toxic off of him. So Bows and Hose is going to come in now. He's probably going to go for another Seismic Toss. Unless he predicted it and went for Toxic. No, he, he went for the Seismic Toss. Alright, I feel like he's going to go for another Toxic. Like I said, we're just going to Heal Bell this turn. Uh, he should outspeed me, so he'll Toxic, I'll get rid of it. Oh, nope, I outspeed him. That's bad. <clears throat> like I said, he's going to get the Toxic off. So this, this uh, Clefable is going to be a pain in the ass. Not Clefable, Chansey, my bad. Uh, we're going to Wish this turn, then we'll Heal Bell next. Oh, okay. Who's he going to bring in? Here comes Scizor. So he's probably going to go for a bullet punch again. We're going to go ahead and wish pass onto Gastrodune. So he's going to hit me. I'm going to be able to take this and then I'll survive and get the wish. Alright, so he's obviously not going to want to stay in. I don't think he will stay in. Let's just go ahead. For this turn, let's just drop an Earthquake. So like I say, he's going to go into his Chansey right now. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yeah. Eat an Earthquake. This should do... Uh, I didn't do as much as I wanted. Like I said, had I got the... 
the sword dance, or not sword dance, yeah, the, the baton pass from Ninjask, that would have been able to probably one-hit KO that thing. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, let's just go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna sack off Fortress. I don't really need him anymore. I don't think. And that'll give me a free switch into um, my what you call it, Ninjask. Oh no, he goes for the rocks. Okay, that's bad. That means Ninjask is not going to be able to tank a hit. Fuck. Alright. Well, let's just go for the rapid spin. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to kill me. Volt switch. Alright, so now we're down 4-5. He's probably going to go into his Charizard here, I feel. Or his Scizor. I feel like that's his two best options. Or his Nidoqueen. Queen. Okay. Um. I don't know what his Nidoqueen Queen has. Is the problem. Um. We're going to go ahead and bring in Gastrodune. He probably has Toxic on it. Knowing knowing his team, he's probably got Toxic, which is frustrating. Uh, let's see. Do we want to stockpile? Let's go ahead and stockpile this turn. Poison Jab. Shouldn't do too much, but like I said, he's going for that Toxic. He's not going to get it. Uh, we're going to recover this turn. Whoa, I outspeed? No, he's probably going for like a Dragon Tail. That's what it's going to be. There's the Dragon Tail. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what it brings in. Ninjask. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, Ninjask takes a hefty loss right about there. We're going to go ahead and let's just substitute this turn because he might switch. And if he switches, that allows me to get substitute up. All right, what's he going for? Probably maybe an ice beam, rock slide. Ouch. Alright, so we will protect this turn then. We'll just make this thing as fast as we can, and then we will allow Gastrodin to be fast. Like I said, we were going for a very tricky set this time, obviously. And when you do something like that, obviously you have the risk of things not working out well. Um, I can still substitute, right? Uh, let's. Uh, I didn't see what he went for there. Did he go for the dragon tail or something? Let's go ahead and let's just baton pass. Now the question is, all right, we have a fast Tyranitar. Let's let's roll with that for now. Let's see if he goes for the dragon tail, which would be the smart move. Poison jab. All right. So he's going. He's definitely going to go for a dragon tail this turn. I don't see why he wouldn't. So we are going to go for the earthquake, just to do more damage onto this thing. And kills it. Sweet. So Tyranitar picks up a kill. 
This is probably going to bring in the Scizor because he's going to want a bullet punch. Oh, okay. He goes ahead and brings in the Chansey. What is he going to have then? Oh, he's got Seismic Toss. That'll do a lot to Tyranitar. Um, let's see. I kind of want to go for Stone Edge, but I'm really, really nervous. I'm going to miss. Let's see. No, let's let's play it safe. We're gonna go into bows and hose here. Cause if he does attack, it's not gonna do much. And then I can get rid of my toxic. Or if he goes for toxic, I'm already toxic, it doesn't matter. Alright, he went for the toxic. Sweet. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the wish up first. Because I need to be able to get health back quick. <clears throat> He's probably going to switch into his Kobolion or Scizor here. Okay, he's not switching. Maybe he thought I was going to go for Heal Bell, so we went for another Toxic. I don't know. Alright, he went for the Seismic Toss. Shouldn't be enough to kill this. Alright, uh, this is going to be really close. Oh my. After the Toxic, I don't know if I can live. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's no way Bows and Hose is going to live this one. Who needs some health? Alright, uh, let's just heal Bell. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, he went for Toxic! What is he thinking? Oh, he could have killed. He could have killed this turn. But he didn't. Alright. Sweet. That's great to know that he went for the Toxic instead. So that's a fresh Toxic. It's not going to do as much as it would have originally. And now we have Sylveon healed back up. He's got to switch eventually. Uh, let's... Should let's go ahead. Well, now I can set up Gastrodune without him dragon tailing me is the main thing. I have to get rid of this Chansey because I have to stop this the potential for toxic. If that thing gets a toxic off, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's let's go for another wish for now. That way I can switch into anything. He stays in. Probably going for seismic toss maybe. Yeah. All right. And we're just going to get rid of the toxic this turn. He's probably going to toxic as well. He withdrew. Here comes Kobolion or Scissor. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and this turn we're just going to sack off the uh, Nijask. Because I don't want to take a hit from anything. And this prevents him from getting any damage on it. This allows Gastrodune to come in for free. So Ninjask goes down to the rocks. What did he go for? He went for the bullet punch. 
Yes, you're doing. Come on in. And we're actually going to double switch this turn. Because, well... Uh, I'm trying to think what to do here. He's going to switch into his... Chansey, without a doubt. Because he wants to get that Toxic off really bad. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to switch into... Tyranitar. Here comes his Chansey, like I said. Alright, I'm really getting worried about that seismic toss now. I don't know how much damage it does, and if it's getting close, it's going to be able to take out this Tyranitar. So, seeing as seeing what he went for last time, he's probably going to go for the Toxic, and we're just going to Dragon Dance. Alright, he went for the Toxic. Now the question is, how bulky is this Chansey? So once this Chansey's gone, I'm pretty sure that Gastrodoon can set up and sweep the rest of the way. So we are going to... Let's go for an... Earthquake. I think that's the safest move. Play it safe, that way there's no miss. Like I said, I like Stone Edge, but I get really nervous if it misses. Oh my gosh, that thing is stupid bulky. What in the world? Okay. Um... We're gonna have to go for Stone Edge. We don't have any other choice right now. We need the chance for a critical hit. And Stone Edge has a higher one. Give me the crit. And, oh my gosh, he's just going to Toxic it all. Okay. This is where I'm going to switch in then, if he's going to do this. I should have Dragon Danced again. Actually, I can take out his Clefable right here. But I have... Uh, if he switches, though, I'm done, though. Um, let's... Let's go into Bows and Hills. Yeah, this is another long battle. He's probably just going to soft boil. Okay, he switched out. Sweet. What's he going to bring? Here comes Scissor, I bet. Or Cobalion. Alright, so nothing I have wants to take anything from this thing. I should have stayed in an Earthquake. I thought he might switch. And I should have read into that a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go for, no, let's go for the hyper voice. Fuck it. I might be able to, oh, he's going for sword sense. He thought I would switch. Okay. Hopefully this does a lot of damage. Oh, please do a lot of damage. No, it does nothing. And he is... Oh, man. Alright, that's probably a good game now. I've got nothing to stop that.
That's bad. Uh, we're just gonna hyper voice again. This is game over. Sacred Sword. What is he thinking? Maybe he thought I was gonna switch there. I don't know. Alright, so he has to go for like an Iron Head or something like that now. And that's why we are going to switch into Gestradoon. Because then he'll get hit with the Rocky Helmet. Volt Switch. What? What? Does he not have an Iron Move? Or a Steel Move? Alright, um... What do we want to do? Oh, this is such a tough decision. That thing's probably going to be dead. Let's just Earthquake for now. Sacred Sword, hopefully... I thought that was a special move, isn't it? No, it is physical, okay. Alright, so Gastroon's going to pick up a kill here. Wow. Alright, so now his only threat for killing my my Sylveon is his I can't even think straight right now. Uh, it's his Scizor. He's going to get the Toxic off. That's fine. I'm just going to heal Bell next turn. Or two turns from now. I just want to recover and get health back because I need this thing healthy. He's going to soft boil this turn. Because he doesn't want to take any Rocky Helmet damage. And that, I'll get a free switch into Sylveon. Let's see if he predicts a switch and goes for it. Like I said, he's probably just going to go for the uh, Soft Boil. Yep. So just healing that thing up. That's annoying. This is where I should have had Toxic on Sylveon instead of Baton Pass. Baton Pass would have been nice if I was slower than his Chansey, but I'm not. So we're just going to wish. He's going to Toxic this turn. Oh, he went for the Seismic Toss. Okay. Uh, is Tyranitar still? Okay, so my entire team's toxic right now, minus Sylveon. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll heal Bell. He's going to probably toxic this turn. Okay, he withdraws. Here comes the heal Bell. He's going to bring in Scizor here. Charizard! Okay. Um, can my Sylveon take on this Charizard? Alright, we're going to go for the Hyper Voice. He's probably going to Dragon Dance here. Yeah, here comes the Dragon Dance. <coughs> Hyper Voice is going to do some damage. I don't think it'll one-hit KO it. Alright, he might Roost this turn, or he'll go for an attack. But we're just going to Hyper Voice. I got a feeling Charizard can probably one-hit KO my Sylveon. Even though my Sylveon is bulky, that is a strong Charizard on that side of the field. Let's see what he wants to do. Close game at 3-3. He's got two Pokemon that can probably heal up. He's probably got Roost on his Charizard. Uh, his, or his uh, Chansey's got 
soft boiled and his scissor has roost so he is in this for the long haul so I need to be able to just start taking these things out one by one he's probably going through his head right now wondering whether or not he can one hit KO my Sylveon at this range because if he can't his Charizard's dead Oh, this is taking forever. This is a long battle. Like I said, after last week's long battle, I was not wanting another one. Fire Punch doesn't do enough. Oh, get him out of here. All right, Sylveon picks up the KO, gets rid of Charizard, and now we are at a 3-2 advantage for the Flying Tepigs. Here comes Scizor, probably. Unless he goes into his, his chancy and starts toxicing everything. No, Scizor's coming in. Okay. Gastrion's going to come in then. I don't want Sylveon to take any damage. Gastrion can handle anything he wants to throw at him. So, this is his last chance to kill anything, really. That's his last, like, physical attacking Pokemon that he has. Going for the Bull Punch. He's going to take damage. That's not going to do anything to Gastrodoon. And he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? We are going to... Let's just Earthquake. Because he's probably going to bring Chansey in. Oh, gosh. This is a long battle. Full health. Sweet. This is going to take forever. Alright, so... He's probably going to go for the Toxic. Let's go ahead and bring in Sylveon. Yeah, Toxics for days. Come on. As you can see, that is why that thing is on the top 10, solely because it just walls everything. I probably should have kept Breelum alive. Breelum would have been able to handle it. Uh, so we're, we are going to wish. Because if he kills this thing, he kills it, but I'm going to get the wish off, and that means that uh, Tyranitar can come in next turn, no problem. <laughs> Let's see if he kills it. Yeah, this should be dead. Now we are on a ticking clock. So we're going to go ahead and pass this wish on to Tyranitar. Oh, see, I don't know if Tyranitar can handle uh, Seismic Toss at that life. We're going to get rocks damage. Oh, this isn't looking good. Hopefully, if he goes for a Toxic, if he goes for a Toxic, I think I have this one. If he goes for a Seismic Toss, oh, man. Went for the Seismic Toss. Shit. All right. Uh, Titar's not going to live that. Oh, he did. Oh, five life. What? Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, Titar, you are playing like a champ today. We're going for another Dragon Dance. Because two Dragon Dances puts that thing in a position where it's not living anything. Um, yeah. He's going to drop a Toxic. That's, that's his best chance right now. Holy shit. Here comes his Toxic. Alright, so we've got doubled up Dragon Dance Tyranitar. He's now toxic And we are going to... I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think, because he's probably going to switch. There's no way he stays in and lets that thing go down. Um, 
I'm trying to think what's going to do the most damage to Scizor if he brings it in. I think Earthquake is neutral damage, but obviously it's not going to get stabbed. Um, the only other option is Crunch. Let's just go for the Earthquake. We'll play it safe for this turn. If this thing's dead, if it is dead, he is done. Wow, why is that thing so bulky? Alright. This is so close. This is outrageously close. I should have lost this game many, many turns ago. But here I am. Um, I'm going to go for the crunch this turn. Let's just get the stab damage. Let's see if this will kill. Kill it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Tyranitar coming in clutch. Picking up the kill. Holy crap. All right. So, I think the safest play is to let Tyranitar go down to a bullet punch right here. That way, Gastrodoom can come in, no questions asked, and heal up. Because Gastrodoom is, what, half health right now, I think? No, he's he's a little bit above half. Um, let's, let's just see what he does. We're going to go for the Earthquake. He's going to go for the bullet punch. There's no way I live this. All right, Tyranitar's down. He did a great job. He played well today. Now that allows Gashun to come in, and we are going to we're going to recover this first turn. One one is the score right now. He's gonna drop a roost. We're both healing up. This is going to be a long last stretch here because once I get my three stockpiles off he's not going to be able to kill this thing so we're going to stockpile one anything he hits me with is going to hurt him bullet punch isn't going to do anything to him that did a lot more that was probably off oh, critical hit there we go I was going to say that might have been a high roll but it was a crit stockpile time Wow, how did we come back? Like I said, we should not still be in this one. There was a point three turns ago where it should have been a good game. Bull punch, not doing anything. He's taking Rocky Helmet damage. Stockpile again. And we'll stockpile three. We're just going to get it out of the way now. He's probably going to go for a roost here or something. But this is the point where you've got an unstoppable wall that he cannot beat. I really can't do a lot of damage to that thing, but, you know, he's not going to be able to take this thing down. So it's kind of a standstill right now because he can obviously roost and heal all the way back up. But he cannot do damage to me without killing himself. Alright, and I don't know if we're just waiting the clock out or what. This has been a 40 minute long battle. He's going for the roost. That's fine. Stockpile 3 is up. Guest room now, for all intents and purposes, cannot die. He's going to need some kind of super crit or something like that in order to get past this defense. And we're just going to recover this turn. Uh, I probably should have went for an Ice Beam or something like that. Now, if I had Scald, that would be able to take out the Scizor easily. But I don't, because I wanted the Ice Beam on there instead. Because the Ice Beam handles a lot of his other team well. Uh, he didn't bring some of the ones I thought he might bring. So, Scald was probably the better option. But, we picked what we picked. I really hope he's not going to stall out.
All right, so we're going to recover. And part of me wants to go for an Ice Beam to see if we can get a Freeze. If I can get a Freeze off on this, it's over. Because he won't be able to heal. So, for now, we're just going to Ice Beam. We're going to do 16 turns of Ice Beam. Bug Bite. Let's see how he does. Does decent damage. No freeze. We'll go for it again. 15 more chances. No freeze. Going for it again. Oh, how nice. He got rid of my pointed stones around my team. Give me the freeze. Damn it. So, there's, there's really not much more you can do. Give me the freeze. Damn it. We're going to get the freeze eventually. It's going to happen. So he's probably going to roost this turn. There's his roost. There it is. Yes. All right, so we got the freeze off. Now we're going to do Earthquake. Because that way I'll get Stab, and it should do more. Unless if it's not doing more, then we'll go back to the Ice Beam. He's frozen solid. All right, I need two or three more turns of this freeze. Sweet. I might need two more. Let's see if this kills. Give me a crit. Oh, give me a crit. It's frozen. Awesome. <sighs> Come on, Gastrin. Pick up the kill. All right. Gastrin picks up the kill. Flying Tepigs win in a very, very, very close match. Uh, good game, hero. Uh, you know, it, it sucks that, you know, you had some really, really close chances to take out my team, but somehow my team managed to just bulk it out and live um, yeah uh, very intense match very very intense match so thank you all for watching and I will see you at the next battle which I believe is in Boston against the Bear Ticks so till next time everyone have a good one